So at this stage of the game, um, this is the second part of the uh, uh, sections that I'm painting in. So the first part was this, and now I'm doing the four quadrants on the corners. Um, I haven't completed the corners yet because there's a, another option that I'm entertaining. I'm not sure if I want to go that route or not, and I'm still kind of playing around with that idea. But right here, it's pretty simple. These uh, values are all going to be the same all the way through. Um, so you don't have to tape off this line here and then paint one. If it's the same color, just tape it off as one full value. Uh, so I believe the next one is, is it one, two, three. It's a two green. this is taped off I can untape a few things and that's why I'm making this video because it's kind of fun to see the value shift so you can see I did a little bit here you can see that quick value shift but once I take this tape off you'll see it more clearly and I don't need it on anymore because it, um, that part of the painting is finished um, Dress enough, make sure there's a little sliver of paint of the old strip you put down. When you put your tape down, use your fingertip just to kind of burnish the edges a little bit. That side's done. Let's go to this side. I will say if you walk around or turn your painting towards you, it's easier to follow the line. a graphite line you can kind of see I'm tapping my finger along that line as as I go that's how I keep things as clean and precise as possible Oops. I think I got that there now I'm noticing my tape rolls getting a little low I might See if I can order one online, a new roll, instead of entering out to Home Depot. Uh, that way I'll get it in a couple days. And I don't have to worry about running out. Probably just do a quick Amazon order. All right, so this is number two, green. I already labeled it. There's a number two there. You probably can't see it. And just to double check, I'm going to count one, two, three, or five, four, three, two. Always double check because I already made a mistake here. I think I had to paint this pink three times because um, I painted green first and I made the mistake. It should have been pink. But the good thing is I didn't take all the tape off. I just took a few, realized my mistake, left the tape on, and just repainted it, and then retaped the areas that I did take off. It wasn't a major blow, but it was slowed me down a little bit. first and then clean your brush 
dry it off, and then clean it again. So don't drip on your painting. And then squeeze it real good to get all the water out. So the next time you use it, it's ready to go. Now again, be really careful when you take your tape off. Sometimes the wet tape can curl and then hit another section of your painting. And then you gotta touch that section up and that's a pain in the rear end. Now, if I decided to do a different color here, as opposed to here, then yeah, I would tape the middle off. Everything's different. It bled a little there. I probably forgot to burnish it. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but I can always fix that at a later time. What happens, it's a like a vacuum and it sucks the paint underneath. If, the, if you don't burnish the tape down. All right, so this is the, kind of the fun part. Since I have, I painted all the way past the tape, I, have the freedom to peel this off now and when you peel it off just be really careful because the tape's been on here for a while when the tape's been on there for a while the adhesive tends to um, stick a little bit more and sometimes they can rip the, rip the paper and so you just want to like just take your time don't rush it But I will say the reveal is really fun. You can kind of see how the plane shifts are really starting to form. And I also, because I don't know what I'm going to do here, so it's kind of nice that I'm pulling this off so I can get a sense of what everything looks like. And it will help me make my, make my decision. I have my original plan, which I might stick with, but then I thought of something else. Basically, what I did, I went um, five, four, three... And then I went back to four, three, up to five, but I could also just go three, two, one, and it will get lighter in the corners, but there's gonna be a dark value right here. I'm thinking I might want this darker here to kind of balance the things out. So we'll see. And that was my original plan. So I just might just go with the original. There you go. So you can kind of see the plane shifts forming. It has a little depth of space volume um, and then once I finish this then I can start this section or this section. <laughs>